The police department gave the U.S. Attorney's Office a list of 10 officers accused of misrepresenting facts. News Trail Scott Coral spoke with the defense attorney and the DA elect and learned this could potentially open up the Pandora's box of criminal court cases. When CPD gave the U.S. Attorney's Office 10 officers accused of misrepresenting facts, it told Robin Flores, a defense attorney here in Chattanooga, that something a lot bigger might be on the horizon. Why would the federal government do this? I've never seen this, particularly, you know, so many at one time. And just to take a look at, hey, we want to look at your IA files. Oh, this guy did this, this guy did that, and we want him out of here. There's got to be something else going on that none of us know about. Flora says this isn't the first time the federal government has asked for Brady letters from the Chattanooga Police Department. He explains if the government sees a pattern of behavior with CPD officers, there could be several cases that could come under scrutiny. Falsifying <laughs> records tampering with evidence, misplacing evidence. I could see potentially dozens of prosecutions being up for review. District Attorney-elect Cody Womp sees that possibility as well. She gave News 12 this statement to say she will review each officer and each case to determine the best path forward. Flores says if Womp decides to use these officers despite the allegations, it could further erode the public's trust in the legal system. If you've got a prosecutor who's campaigned to have the backs of their law enforcement officers, and then you got something like this coming up, yeah, that's definitely going to, you know, impede uh, people's, you know, uh, feelings that, you know, can we trust our, our justice system here in Hamilton County? In Chattanooga, Scott Coral, News 12 Now.